Hello, and welcome back. This time we'll be talking about The Punisher Armory by Elitar Brown, written and drawn by Elitar Brown, and uh, lettered by Elitar Brown. Uh, this is basically his baby. Um, everything else is done by uh, concept creation by someone else, and uh, the covers are by a different artist each time. Uh, very degrees of, hey, that's actually really good, to, um, yeah, that's really 90s. But uh, The Punisher Armory is basically a prose book, written in prose, and uh, we have tableaus, the background drops of uh, Frank's guns, weapons, supplies, uh, body armor, everything that uh, the Punisher needs to wage his war on crime. And uh, basically the Punisher, in some sense, does become a reviewer, because he does give his thoughts, his criticisms, his critiques, on certain guns, certain supplies, and uh, things that he can do to improve them. He's he's always about self-improvement, and always about. I always see him that he uh, above all else, above all else, he does respect mostly efficiency and implements efficiency as best he can, especially with the help of Microchip, who does get a couple pages in here. This is basically their their diaries or journals of uh, them. Uh, and their supplies. And I can only recommend this to the most die-hard Punisher fan. I'm pretty sure Vince from Geekvolution has this. If not, I, I don't know. He 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 prides himself in uh, trying to get everything Punisher. Uh, I, I, I'd be a lot more choosier because I, I probably wouldn't want to get Punisher 2099. Or anything 2099. Maybe Spider-Man 2099. But uh, above all that... Uh, I really enjoyed this book. Other times it's really, really good. Other times it feels like an NRA wank book because it just there's so many variations and iterations and of certain guns of nine millimeters and forty calibers and fifty calibers and point two two three stuff. I'm not very gun savvy. I'm not a gun nut by any means. I do know the difference between I know a forty five is going to make a bigger hole in a person than a nine millimeter. That, that that's pretty much that, and y you know I know different types, you know some machine guns and stuff like that. I know shotgun has a spread of pellets. I, I know some details, but like say if I was watching a movie like Goodfellas, and and there's some gun not saying, hey those guns didn't come out until blah blah blah, while well, the movie takes place like say in the 1970s, I, I wouldn't be able to pick up on those uh, subtleties of gun design. I'm not pro-gun, I'm not against gun, they're a necessary evil in some societies, and, you know, talk about gun regulation, all that fun stuff, but, um, try your best, and, and the author does have entries into uh, each issue of what his uh, thoughts are on the Punisher and what the Punisher should be, and him talking about his expertise in guns and, and stuff like that. Uh, it's not all just guns. There's stuff like uh, survival equipment, like parach uh, parachutes, uh, different vehicles. There's a whole schematic, a whole schematic of uh, all statistics, the capabilities of the battle van. Like it weighs 800 some pounds. It it turns on these, it turns on this how much degrees and just everything you could learn about the battle vans on that. It's like you can take this book to a to a, say a custom motor shop and say, hey, build me that. But but kind of I guess the joke would be on you because all these supplies now the last book came out in 1994 and all of this would be out of date ridiculously. Uh, anything else I could see on this? It's a good book. Check it out. Uh, it, it really does humanize the Punisher in many ways. It. Uh, we have great we have great references to Doctor Who in here. Microchip has built these mini robots uh, with Gatlin guns, and he has nicknamed them Daleks. And uh, we have a huge kind of thing in issue two, uh, I believe page twenty eight to twenty nine. Uh, Frank actually gives a rundown on the Daleks and what they're all about. And he doesn't say Davros, but he alludes to him, calls him just a mad scientist. And uh, we have great little moments of Frank playing with, his, or talking about his, his son's cap gun, or uh, Frank being a fan of Lost in Space and likes to watch Jeopardy, and how he nicknamed the grenade launcher of the bloop gun. We're talking about the net gun, and you can't mention uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Running Man. And uh, Microchip gets a couple good pages. 
The only bad thing I get this, it gets really redundant because there's so many variations of the same type of gun. Uh, of like extended clips and not chromed and just... It's all Japanese to me, frankly, when it comes to the tech of weaponry. Um, but uh, check it out. Punisher Armory. Um, yeah.